Use the new map function in Google Sheets to create outputs from one or more arrays in conjunction with the Lambda function. To see the map function in action, let's jump into an example. Let's say, for example, I want to use Salesforce data to understand the amount of opportunities by stage. I could do this using the SUMIFS function in Google Sheets. Let's take a look. Use the SUMIFS function to determine the amount by stage by writing the SUMIFS function as follows. Equals SUMIFS. Let's choose the range we want to sum. We'll make this open-ended. Now, where is the stage in my opportunity data? It's in column H. We will also make this open-ended. And then we have an array of the unique stages in this data set. We'll go back to my example tab. And we want to determine the amount by stage. So I'll use this cell to start with. And then as I drag my formula down, the cell will then go to closed one, negotiation, qualification, and et cetera. I'll close these parentheses and click enter. And then I can click and drag to showcase other stages. I can do the same thing using the map function in conjunction with the lambda function. To see how I do that, let's walk through this example. The map function takes as inputs either one or more arrays and then applies a lambda function to it. So it will apply the same function to each item in the array. Let's take a look. Let's do equals map open parentheses, and this is where I'll choose my stage array. And I have all of my unique stages from my Salesforce data. So I will highlight my first array. So click comma. We'll ignore the second array. Instead, we'll write lambda and create our lambda function. So here we can actually reuse the function that we wrote before with the sum ifs. So I'll just click enter for now. I'll go back up here and I'll copy this formula without the equal sign. Escape, go back to my map function, and then I can continue with my map function. Now, since I've selected array in conjunction with my map function, I need to name that array in the lambda function. I've selected stages here, so I'll name each element in the array stage, comma, and this is where I can paste my sum if statement, control V, but here I need to make one change. Instead of referring to cell A2, then A3, then A4, I want to refer to each element in the stage array. So I'll change A2 to be stage. Click enter, and there you go. The map function can also be used in conjunction with more than one array. Let's take, for example, we're combining the first and last name of our opportunity owners from our Salesforce data. We can first take a look at a simple concatenation example without the map function. Let's click equals. We'll combine the first name with the space and the last name and enter. And I will click and drag. This can also be used within the map function. Here we'll combine the two arrays to create a new array. Let's write our map function equals map. We'll highlight our first array and our second array. We'll create our Lambda function. First, we'll name the two arrays. So the first array we have is first name. The second array we have is last name, comma. And I'll just press return to copy my function. Enter, and go back to my Lambda function and control V. Here we'll replace D5 with my first name array because I want to loop through every item in the first name array to combine it with every item of the last name array. And E5 will change to last name. Click enter, and there you go. Let's go to our Salesforce data on the opportunity tab and use the map feature to combine first and last name directly on our opportunity import. Here I've imported some information from the opportunity object in Salesforce. I'll scroll all the way to the right and I'll create a new column where I combine the first and last name. Let's create our map function. We'll, we'll map the first names. So column C and column D, Lambda, and I will map the first name, last name, together separated by a space. First name, ampersand, ampersand, last name. 
and close parentheses and click enter. Now we have our full name combined first and last name together. If you're interested in learning more about our Salesforce connector and many of the other business connectors we have available through the Coefficient app, check the description below.